There are a couple of different ways to fade in After Effects. The most straightforward way is to use a preset. Go to the Effects and Presets pane and type Fade in the search box. In the Behavior section, you'll see a number of presets. The Fade In layer below Preset will fade in for the entire duration of the layer. Below it, click and drag it onto your layer to try it out. The Fade Out layer below will do the same, but fade out. If you want more control over how long your fade lasts, you can either use the Fade In and Out with Frames preset, or the Fade In and Out by Milliskin's preset. Drag the Fade with Frames preset onto your layer, and click on the drop-down arrow next to your layer. Drill down once more by clicking on the Fade In and Out Frames drop-down arrow. The default fades are set to fade in and out for a total of 15 frames, which is kind of fast. To boost that up, click on the value and type your desired amount of frames. I'm going to set mine to 150 and hit enter. Now you can either do the same thing for fading out a layer, or if you just don't want it to fade one way or the other, just set that value to zero. Alright, that works great, but I'm going to delete my effect and show you a different way to fade under your layer. Click on the Transform drop-down arrow. Set your opacity to zero, and then hit the timer button next to Opacity. Drag your timeline marker for however long you'd like your fade to last. Then set your capacity value to 100. To fade your layer back out, drag your timeline marker further down along your timeline, and then set the opacity to zero, and that's all there is to it. If this video helpful to learn quickly, hit the like button, and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. Then you won't miss any upcoming tutorials.